sight fishing sooner even though it's very tough when I got that 13 14 pounds you know and I was maybe 12 and I was calling up every day with maybe one bed fish but I never put a big fish in the boat I think I would have gone I would have quit fishing earlier with the uh, with the reaction bait and I would have sight fished more I needed to do that more I needed to cover more water even though I know it was really difficult yeah, yeah. awesome job but not fail look out hey, I can't Sorry. complain about right, how tough thanks appreciate it bye Fish are really finicky, and um, you know they'll they'll move off. You go around and see a big one, and there's a male, and there she is, and then she'll cruise around. And sometimes you catch the male, and she'll come in, but sometimes they just leave or get real finicky, and so it's just a real tough deal. I I had one that uh, came around a corner, and I see one about six pounds, five and a half, six pounds, just laying up there. Wow! So I make a long cast, lay it out there, just let it sit, and then I jiggle it, and buddy, she just whoo, focuses in, goes over there, eats it. And as she eats it, she just turns to me. I set the hook, reeling as fast as I can, and she pulls off. And you get a fish like that, you get one opportunity, and that's it. And um, uh, so then I went to catch the male. She'd hang close, and I went to catch the male. I hooked her, him, drug him off the bed, and he came off, went back to bed. And then it was like, I'm running out of time. So, I, you know, I left a lot of pounds out on the lake this week, and, and that's disappointing, but it was still a tremendous, tremendous time. You know, you, you 
you're one of the best at lead fishing. Uh, most of the guys had a lot of problems this, this, this week. You know, the fish were crazy. They weren't doing like they normally do. What do you attest that? I don't know. I really don't. It's, I like to say is it's fun, uh, you know, because it's very challenging. And that's uh, that's probably the greatest part of that. It's, just, it's, it's a big challenge. It, you know, I'd like to say it was temperature, but it, you know, they're getting better or solid right now. And the temperature's warmer, the water temperature's coming up. So maybe it was temperature. Maybe it's just we had a little cold snap that kind of got them finicky. Or it could have been moon phase off a little bit. But whatever, it's it's right now. Yeah. Shell, so what lure was, was key for you this, this week? I used a striking rodent. It's a new bait. And uh, and I used a white tube, which is a bleeding bait tube that uh, striking has out. And... Uh, and I drop shot it a little bit, so it's a little bit of all that, but the, the tube seems to be the best, the tube and the rodent. Now, rodent's the one I caught that 13-6 on the PAA tournament, so I'm kind of partial to those baits. They just, they eat them. Looking back over four days, anything you might have changed, you think? No, you know, everything, I, I did the things right. You know, I hooked up that, that five-pounder on the second day and had him all the way to the boat, getting ready to lift it when it pulled off, and I had this one. You know, when you get them to eat, that's all you got. You know, then it's up to where the hook sticks, and if the hook sticks in some skin rather than going through a nice little spot, you know, and that just happens to be the, the amount of water that they suck in and when they inhale your bait, you know, it's coming in there, and then where it ends up, you don't know. And if you get a little piece of skin, which that big five pounder did, and the one today, have no clue how it didn't just. I'm using the sharpest hooks made in the world, and um, it didn't even out on the market right now. It'll come out in June or July at the uh, ICAST show. This thing is so sharp you can't you can't even get close to touching it. And you know you hook them, so you know you got them, and then it just comes out. Is there such a thing as bad luck? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it.